this week on Way of the Master. Those of you that are thinking, man, I wish there was a way where we could see the, the scope and the size of Noah's Ark. Well, guess what? You can now because our good friend, Mr. Ken Ham, has actually built one, a full-size replica of Noah's Ark. And I had the privilege, yes, me, your lowly Arab host, had the privilege to go to the Ark and tour it with Ken Ham. Check this out. I remember some time back when you first told me about your plans to build the ark. And then the day came when I finally made it over and I rounded that corner and I actually saw it. I mean, it's overwhelming. And you even, you know, when you look at pictures, you can't, you just can't appreciate the size. In right. fact, when I show people pictures, I have to zoom in to say, those are people there. Those things that look <laughs> like ants, they're human beings, you know? Well, think about the length of this for the moment. It's one and a half times the length of a football field. It's half the width of a football field. 3.3 .3 million board feet of timber. Wow. So it's 510 feet long, 85 feet wide, 51 feet high. From ground level here, where you see there's people walking, from ground level to the top of the roof is seven stories, but to the top of the bow there is 10 stories. It is the biggest of what's called timber frame structure in the world. Well, I want to look at all that. So let's go inside, Ken, and I want you to, I want you to take me to some of your favorite exhibits and help people understand why it is you put this thing up. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's go. The wow factor just keeps increasing. So tell us what's going on. Well, the storm has started. You can hear it in the background, okay. you hear the thunder, right. you can see the lightning now and then. And there he is, entrusting their voyage now to the Lord, because he knew they were going to protect them. It's, it's interesting because I think people think Noah just threw a bunch of animals on the ark and they just kind of ran around in this right. open thing. But I mean, this is sophisticated. You it know, there's a, there's a feeding system, there's order. In fact, we have exhibits on how he could have looked after them and fed them and be able to take away their waste. Oh, great. Well, let's keep going. Show okay. me what else is going on down here. I've seen signs all around the ark that have the word kinds on them. And I'm looking here, this says the sloth kind. So can you explain that? Well, you know, when we did the research on what do you want answered, the question I've heard over and over again is, well, how could Noah's Ark be true? It couldn't fit all the animals on board. But people are thinking in terms of species, today's species. The Bible says kind. Right. And so here on the first deck, we start to introduce that idea to help people understand kind is different to species. Lots of species within a kind. Right, right. You know, the, the representatives of the kind, probably at the family level of classification, went on board the ark, and then you have lots of speciation since then. And once people grasp that, they realize Noah didn't need anywhere near the number of animals on the ark that we think. Wow, you could fit all the kinds of land animals needed, representative kinds. That's awesome. TV and streaming listings available at wayofthemaster.com.